Hey YouTube, Puffy Water Chicken here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the first four figures in the Figma Attack on Titan series. All of these figures are basically the same, except for a couple accessory differences. So basically what I'm going to do is review one figure, show you the differences, just so that you can understand how the mold is, where it articulates, without actually making you watch every single figure review. So first I'm going to show you the box, and then the accessories, and then the figure itself, and of course I will show you those minor differences that I was talking about. So here are the boxes. I'll start with the Mikasa. Here's the front with a nice window for viewing. Here's the side, the other side, there's the back, the top, and the bottom. The Levi, front for viewing, just like the last one. Here's the back, the top, the bottom, the side, and the other side. Aaron Yeager, there's the front, side, side, back, top, and bottom. And finally, the Armin. Here's the front for viewing, side, the side, top, bottom, and there's the back. Now starting off with the accessories. They all come with two swords, a stand, and their omnidirectional gear. Here's where the differences start. Levi and Mikasa have scarves. Levi's is white, Mikasa's is red. As you can see, the others do not have that. And here are the rest of the items. I'm sorry for the shakiness, I had to hold the camera for this part because of all of the items. And because of the upper view needed. So, another difference is the hands. They all come with the base 10 hands, except for Levi, who comes with another set of hands for holding the swords backwards. As you can see, he's holding them. These sets are two pairs of open sets, just stance hands, and that's another small difference, is the quieter characters, Mikasa and Armin, their open hands are a little bit more together, and Levi and Aaron are more aggressive people, so their hands are open a little bit more. But they're still basically the same hands. So like I said, two open hands, and then two hands for holding the swords, except for Levi, who has three, and those hands have, well, one of the pairs has... The fingers open for grasping the sword handle, and the other ones just have them closed. But you can still have them hold the sword. And then, of course, a closed pair of hands for fist and an extra joint. All the figures come with three faces. They each have one on, of course, and then here are their two extras. Here are the ones they have on. I think I have a serious face on all of them. And then here are their additional faces. That top row is Mikasa's. There's Levi's. There's Aaron's, and there is Armin's. The rest of the accessories are the same for all of the figures. They have the cloak, which is pretty easy to put on. I'll show that later. The instruction booklet, a piece of wind gust that can hook onto the back of their omnidirectional gear, a couple of hooks that have, actually have string and then an additional string, two different hooks that are more stiff that also attach into the omnidirectional gear, and then two little wind gusts to attach to these to make it look like they're shooting out and this lovely little clear piece. Here I have the accessories that connect to the omnidirectional gear. First of all, on the back of the omnidirectional gear at the top, you can see that there is a part that can switch. It's this little gray piece. It can come off and this air gust can connect to it and then the stand can connect to that to make it look like he's flying. Here are the hooks connected to the omnidirectional gear right there by the waist as you can see right there. There's the air gust connected to that side just so you can see what it looks like. And then these extra hooks, the ones with actual strings, they also have a little hook that connects in the same spot as these ones. The heads are pretty easy to exchange the faces. All you have to do is pull the hair out just like this. It's nice and stiff. Good, good part. And then you pull the face off just like that. And then you take the next one, put it back on and then put the hair back in and that's it to the exchanging faces. The capes attach pretty easily, you just take off the head and slide them on and they have a clear piece on the back that lines up with the hole in the back and there's also a hole in the clear piece so that the stand can go through them both and so you can still have the figure on the stand. If you don't want it on the stand and you want the cape to stay still, that's where this little clear piece comes in that just slides through both holes. All the figures come with the same stand. This is the traditional Figma stand. It says Figma on it. This part connects to the base, and that's the base. It bends right here. It can also twist down there, and then it bends in the middle. It bends at the top, and then the top connects to the figure 
right there and then there's this also this additional piece that slides on and can also connect to the figure. They can also connect through the um, co of course and that little wind gust. All the figures have two holes in the back, one right here for the co, the stand to connect to and then one for the omnidirectional gear a little bit lower just below the jacket and the omnidirectional gear connects to him or the figure, all the figures in five spots and two spots to the swords. That spot in the back they connect to the leg on the side and then up here to the waist. The swords connect right here, that part can just be unplugged and plugged back in and then the swords can also connect to the handles just like that. Something I really like about this figure is the omnidirectional gear has little joints. They connect to the figure and then they can also be moved up and down or sideways or really whatever you want to do with them. Before I get into the articulation, I just want to point out, like I said, these figures are almost the same. They do have small differences, such as the shirts, like the Armin, his undershirt is a collared shirt, um, Aaron's is open, Levi is a different shirt, it's slightly different than Aaron's, the buttons are just buttoned up at the top, and then Mikasa, obviously she's a girl, so she's going to have a different shirt. Alright, now on to the articulation and the mold. I just want to say that these figures look amazing. They're Figma. I love Figma. In my opinion, they're one of the top toy or action figure producers. All of their figures are really high quality. They have great paint jobs, great molds, amazing articulation. They hold together pretty well. They're just really good, well-made figures. Another thing is, you can tell it stands on its own pretty well, and that's because of all of the articulation, especially in the legs. So, the feet, they do move side to side up and down and then the toes also move up and down I'll move those away up and down just like that and you can get them to move side to side this way just a little bit the knees bend and they get a pretty good movement range right there they do twist right where the buckles meet the pants right here and then the legs can get a lot of movement up and down really any way you want them to so that's really nice and then this little shirt part or whatever that is can um, come up, it's cut in the middle, so it's not connected, so it doesn't get in the way. And then he moves at the waist, and I'm pretty sure he twists at the waist too, a little bit, yeah. Right here, his, um, in the middle, that twists, and then up here, twists too, in his chest, I should say. The jacket is nice and rubbery, so that doesn't get in the way. I'm pretty sure you could take it off if you took off his arms, but I don't see why you would do that, because then the arms would be brown, and it just wouldn't go together. The arms move all the way up and around, up, get a nice nice range right there. Elbows too, great movement. Then they can twist, of course. The hands, I love the hands on Figmas, they get tons of movement. They can go forward and backward and up and down, twist all around, great joints. The heads can go up, down, just like that, all the way around angle it, whatever you want to do, that's a great joint. And then there's also a neck joint, but that doesn't do much, it just gives a little bit movement for the up and down. As you can see, it connects right in there on the neckline. So that's the extent of this figure, it's a great figure, all four of them. I would definitely recommend them, just be careful when you're buying them on eBay, if they're like 20 bucks, they're probably a bootleg, like that Mikasa back there. As you can see, the, uh, the quality is a bit different between that figure and the others. But definitely buy them, add them to your collection. They're great figures. I hope you liked the review. Please subscribe and please check out my other videos.